She is. It's been a while and it's a sort of inevitable thing to happen. I've bought a Polaris. This particular one is a mid 2000s 330 Magnum 4x4. Automatic. Yes, look at that. <clears throat> I don't know what to think of Polaris yet. I've read multiple opinions online. This is probably from an era when they were not as good as they are now. Nevertheless, it's definitely not the quality of something Chinese. It's definitely reasonable. I do like these uh, pretty chunky plastic racks. and I don't know, it's just got a look about it, I suppose. It's a bit different to something like that. This one's got a few more issues than I tend to uh, go for. When I bought it, it didn't actually run at all. Um, it would only sort of splutter if you spray fuel directly down the carb. Uh, I rebuilt the carb, but it was still running horribly rich, pouring out black smoke. Not much power at the mid end. But uh, after many days of adjustment, I just decided it's better to just buy one. They're only about 50 quid aftermarket that is this is the original car surprisingly clean really not on the outside obviously but in there once you take it apart not bad it does have this weird rattle which may be something to do by the fact it's running like crap but again for 50 quid maybe i'll just replace it the other thing that caught my eye only because i was taking the car but i had to remove this tube here is that the belt has this split in it. It is only on the outside. I don't you probably won't be able to see in there, but basically there's a thick rubber component on the uh, base of the belt. And then there's a sort of coating on the outside, not coating, but, and it's this that's broke off. It almost looks like it's just glued on there. So I'm not sure if that's really a problem or not. It certainly dries fine. I mean, it's the original belt. Again, they're only cheap. May as well replace it. Drop down in the comments if you think I need to replace that. Uh, and yet, yeah, there is more. This toolbox in the back isn't for practicality, as it turns out. It's got a car battery in it. Why has it got a car battery in it? Because car batteries are cheaper than motorcycle batteries, and obviously the boat before me was a complete cheapskate. And probably on an unrelated issue, but the solenoid is also buggered. That's the original solenoid. It was actually rusted so hard I had to drain the bolt off it. But I put this uh, new one on. It's a Chinese one I bought for a, uh, a Kodiak that I was, well, a Kodiak I was actually keeping. So I ended up buying a genuine one because I don't like running Chinese parts on anything. Don't mind aftermarket stuff, but Chinese, no thanks. So yeah. That worked for about, I don't know, 10 startup attempts and it broke, so I think I'm just going to buy a new generic solenoid. I can't seem to find one for this exact model here, but there you go. Pretty grubby looking in there, isn't it, really? But nevertheless, it does, does run when it's got a decent carb on it, and it does drive fairly well. Obviously, I can't say that because it's got no carb, but you've got your basic high. Low, neutral, reverse, park, exactly the same as the MR. Gauge cluster is dead. Again, probably won't bother to do anything about that. You get your neutral light, but nothing on there. And nothing when I turn the key to jump the solenoid. So, what I've done so far is remove the carb and change the oil with my standard high flow filter racing filter. High quality, yes, five pounds. But uh, yeah, oh yeah, it's got a big crack there. But it was super cheap, this only cost me 700 quid. Which in the UK, that's extremely cheap for anything like a proper quad. Even that, which is 20 year old, probably 10 year older than this will fetch 17, 1800. But, uh, I'll obviously give it a bit of a clean up, like there's rust down there, it looks horrible. Plastics, I use my. Uh, I talked about it in the previous video, which I did with that one, but let me just show you, because it is actually damn good stuff. If I know where I put it. There it is. This bumper and shim gel. Maybe I'll do a video on it sometime, but... 
Maybe not. So yeah. Anyway. One final thing actually is the tyres. Oh crap. Look at them cracks in there. Look at that. That's diabolical. But yeah. Subscribe and I'll see you for more quads.